Today's video topic is how mouse droppings can make you sick. Are you worried about getting sick from mouse droppings? If so, you are not alone. Every year, countless people are infected with diseases by coming into contact with infected mice and their droppings. From respiratory illnesses to diseases like hantavirus, the effects of mouse droppings can be serious. The bacteria in these droppings can infect you when you inhale or touch them or even accidentally eat them when they contaminate your food. Where are infected mice most common? Mice are present worldwide, and they are commonly found in areas with food sources, such as kitchens and pantries. They can also be found in attics, basements, and other areas where there is little human activity. These rodents can also be found outdoors in barns and gardens and around buildings. Anywhere that offers a warm, dark place for them to hide are likely spots to find them. In the United States, for example, the western states have much higher populations of rodents, so infections with the hantavirus are most common there. What illnesses can you get from mouse droppings? When mice leave their droppings, they can release viruses and bacteria into the air. Sometimes the viruses in mouse droppings can still be alive for up to two to three days if the weather is cold. The salmonella bacteria, for example, can remain alive for many days, even weeks in some situations. Coming in contact with mouse droppings can infect you with many illnesses, such as the arena viruses, the hantavirus, salmonellosis, and the rat bite fever. Arena viruses are a group of viruses that cause hemorrhagic fever. The virus is primarily spread by close contact with infected rodents, their droppings, and their urine. Symptoms of this virus can include fever, headache, muscle aches, joint pain, and even bleeding from the mouth, eyes, and nose. Those who are infected should seek medical attention immediately as the virus can be fatal. Hantavirus infections can cause a severe respiratory illness known as hantavirus pulmonary syndrome. Symptoms usually begin with fever and muscle ache, followed by coughing and difficulty breathing. This virus can be fatal if left untreated. Salmonellosis is a bacterial infection that is caused by an infection with the salmonella bacteria. Symptoms of this infection include fever, abdominal pain, and diarrhea. In some cases, it can also cause a rash and joint pain. Finally, rat bite fever, which is an infection that is caused by a type of bacteria that is present in the saliva of infected rodents. It is typically spread through bites and scratches from rats, mice, and other rodents. Symptoms of the infection include fever, chills, headache, and muscle aches. How to keep yourself from getting sick from mouse droppings. To prevent getting sick from mouse droppings, it's important to keep your home or office clean and pest free. This means sealing up any cracks and crevices that mice might use to get inside. Also make sure to clean up any food sources that may be attracting mice. You should regularly check for signs of infestation. If you find any droppings or signs of rodents, contact a professional pest control company immediately to eliminate the problem. In addition, it is important to always wash your hands after coming into contact with any rodent droppings or materials. You should also wear protective clothing, such as gloves and a face mask, when cleaning up mouse droppings. Once you have cleaned the area, be sure to disinfect it with a household cleaner. By following these steps, you can help protect yourself and your family from getting sick from mouse droppings. However, if you think you have been exposed to mouse droppings or have any other symptoms, it is important to contact your doctor immediately. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.